Hey there, friends. I hope you are doing well. Hey, have you ever wondered why a magician uses a magic wand? Or how does he choose a magic wand? Or does the magic wand choose him? Find out how in this episode today, coming right up. Well, welcome or welcome back to Presto Paul TV. I'm your host, Presto Paul. And on this channel, I teach you the best tricks, tips, and techniques on how to do magic for beginners. Hey, if you are new here, I hope you would consider subscribing because we have a ton of fun around here. As a matter of fact, we have a motto. Let's say it together, my friends. You gotta have fun. You'll live longer. Hey, you wanna get into the magic? This is gonna be a fun episode. Let's get right to it. This bottle contains a tool that magi have used for centuries. It is said that the magic wand will find its magi. He will not be contained from the bottle. He will always be drawn to his magi. I will show you what I mean. No matter what I do to contain the magic wand, he wants to be one with the magi. I can try to trap him in the bottle. It will not work. He will always find his magi. Boom. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that performance of the magi and the magic wand out of the bottle trick. I'm going to teach you how to make this prop that's gonna do the magic for you. It's gonna take a little bit of time. This is gonna take a little bit of practice as well in front of a mirror. So I wanted to do something a little bit more challenging uh, for you guys. It's not that difficult. It's just gonna take some time and some practice to get this down to make it look really good. Here's the items you're going to need. Some double stick tape, some regular tape, a pencil, some skizzers, an empty bottle of water, or it could be glass bottle, just something that's clear that you can see what's going on inside the bottle, uh, and some string, black string to be specific. You will also need to wear a black shirt of some sort, a dark shirt, it could have a pattern on it, that's fine, because there's a principle in magic, it's called the black art principle. As you can see, the black string in front of the white piece of paper very clearly. I had this on the table because I was trying this a couple of minutes ago and I lost the string because my table's black. That's the whole principle of the black art principle because if I take it from here and put it in front of my shirt, it disappears. That's how this works. So what you're gonna wind up making is a gimmick. I'm gonna try to show you this. This is a piece of string that's going right along here that's attached to this end of my wand and it's gonna be met up over here with a piece of double stick tape that's hanging right there in a little wad. Now, we're not gonna make it with that. I'm gonna show you how to do it with simple props, like I said, right here. So you get yourself a piece of clear tape like this and your string, I already cut it to make it easier and less time consuming for you on the video here. And you tape one end. I know it's gonna be hard to see, but it is taped on there. You can wrap it around a couple of times around that little piece of tape. You're gonna take that piece of tape and you're gonna put it on the silver part of your pencil right here, just like this. It's gonna be hidden right there. No one's gonna see this because it's gonna be in the inside the bottle upside down. So I'm not sure if you could see that or not, but it's in there. It's a piece of tape right around that silver part. The tape comes down, or excuse me, this string comes down like this. This is gonna go in upside down with whatever end you have the tape and the string connected goes inside that bottle just like that. And that's how it's gonna work. On the other end, you're gonna take that piece of double stick tape and you're gonna peel that off of there just like this. And you're gonna place that on the string as well. I know this might be hard to see, but you have to trust me, just go around a few times with this, fold this in half, because this part here is going to be attached to your belt on your right side if you're right-handed, about, oh, almost to your pocket. I'll show you this in a performance on how this works here in just a minute. Uh, so stick around so you can see me actually showing you how to do this. This is just the construction part. So that's gonna go inside your belt right there. And the length of the string is gonna determine this tension that you're gonna have on here. So really what you need to be doing is just moving this bottle towards someone as you will see, it will come up without moving your other hand. And you're doing this as you're moving around, which you're gonna see in a performance part of the tutorial right now. So this is how you actually can perform this trick 
now that you have your bottle constructed, your pencil constructed, whatever you might be using. Uh, again, you don't need to use a fancy bottle like this or the cork at all. But if you were to use the cork, I cut a little slit right there. This might be hard to see in the back of the cork. That's for the string that's attached to that piece of tape that will go through so that when it is sitting on the table, if you do this part of the performance, uh, it'll look like that bottle is trying to come out of there like that uh, by having that cork inside. The string again is attached with a double stick tape. I have several wrapped around there. Uh, so you, depending on the length of your arm, whatever your performance area is, you can adjust this uh, before you do the trick. Stick that tape underneath your belt. If you're not wearing a belt, just stick it in the top of your pants. It's all done in the hips. It's all done with the hips. I know, honey, I shouldn't dance on camera. My wife says I got no moves. What do you think? Do I have moves? Never mind. Let's get to the magic part. So with the string coming out attached to the bottom of my magic wand like that, I'm going to try to expose that against my skin so you can see it there. The bottom goes inside like that. The string comes out and down to the side of my belt. Now, when I'm on the table, all I have to do is just turn my hips to the right and it'll start rising and you just kind of dip your hip back a little bit. It will come up. You can show that there's no strings, even though there is a string now that you know the secret. You can show that there's no strings. Make sure you wear the dark color. Don't forget about that. Don't wear white and use black thread. Eh, won't look very convincing. Then you could just do that, do your magical gestures. This is gonna take a little practice. Practice in front of a mirror and you just practice moving with the bottle. It's very important that you practice this one. Don't just think you could do it right away. This one's gonna take a little bit more practice than all the other things I've showed you, but I wanna challenge you a little bit. I hope you enjoy a little bit of a challenge. And when you want it to come out, you just lean back with your right hand now. If you're right-handed, that's how I did it because it's attached to my right hip. And pull back and have the wand come out into your hand. I hope you give this one a shot. I would love to hear the reactions you get if you perform this for this year for Halloween. Stay tuned for next week because I have something special for you. Thanks so much for checking out this week's episode in the series of Halloween 2020 Spectacular Spooktober. I hope you're enjoying this series and I have a special surprise for you. Well, I'm going to hold my very first contest and give you a chance to win a Presto Paul magic wand with seven, that's right, seven other tricks inside this bag of goodies. Here's how you're gonna do it. First of all, I would love it if you smash like to let me know you're enjoying my videos and you're getting some good content and value out of it. Two, I hope you would consider subscribing. And three, turn on those notifications so you don't miss when I make the announcement of the winner. But most importantly, to win this contest, you have to type in the word WAND in capitals down in the comments below. And why do you want to win a Presto Paul Magic Wand? Go ahead and do that right now, and I will make the announcement on Halloween, October 31st, and I will draw from a hat all the names that comment the word wand down below. Hey, until next week, I'm your host, Presto Paul, and remember, you gotta have fun. You'll live longer. If you're not wearing pants, it's a different kind of party. <laughs> so, I'm gonna have to delete that, right? But never mind. Anyway. <laughs>